Hail to the king, baby. Hey everyone, and welcome to the Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 2 Retrospective. Basically, <laughs> um, because Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 3 is coming out in late February 2018, uh, February 25th, I believe, uh, I wanted to get my Season 2 Retrospective done in a timely fashion for that. So, this is just a quick... You know, look back at season two of the series, you know, my thoughts, opinions, and <laughs> whatever else I've got for you. So, Ash vs. Evil Dead. Uh, for those of you who don't know about the series, basically, Ash vs. Evil Dead takes place after the Evil Dead series of movies. That includes Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, and Army of Darkness. Uh, currently, there is nothing to do with the remake that was in 20... 20-something, I forget. I will put a timestamp <laughs> for that whenever. But, um, yeah. So, basically, it's about 30 years after the events of Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness. You know, so Ash is somewhere in his 50s. <clears throat> um, in Season 1, basically, Ash, being the screw-up that he is, got high and read from the Necronomicon and released, well, Hell on Earth again. Um, <laughs> with the help of a couple of unlikely allies, uh, a couple of people he worked with at the Value Mart, I believe it was. You know, not S Mart, because I'm guessing Sears or Kmart took some issue with that name, which is unfortunate. But whatever. Uh, they travel across the country <clears throat> trying to, you know, right the wrongs and figure out what to do. Well, um, spoilers for season one they do eventually come to the end of their journey they figure things out and ash comes face to face with a demon and is offered a choice <laughs> you know give up the book i'll i'll let your fr you and your friends go and you can you know, live happily in jacksonville why jacksonville i'm not going to spoil that for you but ash you know being the kind of every man here you know, kind of every man who doesn't really want to be a chosen one is like, yeah, okay, I'll take the deal. You know, I'll go off to Jacksonville with these guys and have fun and I don't have to worry about cutting up demons or my possessed girlfriend or going back to medieval times or any of the other crazy stuff that the Evil Dead series has brought us. <clears throat> so that leads into season two. Um, <laughs> and really quick, I just want to say, you know, looking at season one and season two, I like the format for this. Uh, basically, you know, each season's going so far has been its own journey. You know, so um, you'll have to watch straight through to get the whole story. You can't just go, okay, I'm just going to tune into episode five because they're going to be in the middle of the story. You have to start from episode one to episode ten. So far, that's what the seasons have been, and I'm hoping season three continues that trend or you know, close. Like, oh hey, thirteen episodes isn't too much. Uh, they're all hour-long things, and <laughs> it's, you know, messy, gory, fun, definitely for a more mature audience. Maybe that's why it's on stars. I don't know, but whatever. But um, going into season two, you know, Ash and his buys are just chilling down in Jacksonville. Actually, really quick, I want to establish spoiler warning for Ash vs. Evil Dead season two. Because I kind of have to establish some things so that we get to season three. Because while each season is its own story, you know, it goes from season one to season two, season two to season three. Like where you ended season, where you ended season one, season two start. Where you're ending season two, season three in theory should start. At least from what I've seen of trailers and stuff. So, with that said, spoiler warning for Ash vs. Evil Dead season two. Well, Ash and his boys, you know, are just chilling down in Jacksonville, you know, having parties. It's like spring break, honestly. When, unfortunately, <laughs> as with Ash, bad things happen. Basically, a vortex opens up and, well, deadites and evil spirits and stuff just start popping out and crap goes south. <laughs> and due to some, uh, <laughs> due to some... Due to some plot, I mean, it's a legit thing, but, um, 
they figure out, okay, they have to go back to Elk Grove, Michigan. Apparently, where, I guess at this point, I don't know if it's true canon, but this establishes canonically, this happened, you know, in Michigan, Elk Grove, I believe. <clears throat> um, so, Ash has to go back to his hometown um, and, you know, try and find the, de the devil he made the deal with. You know, because the deal was, you don't mess with me, you can have the book and you can do whatever you want. Yeah, wow, that's a really bad deal. <laughs> I mean, for real. Ash gave the keys of the kingdom for two people, you know, who we journeyed with. Um, whole world, it's awkward. But, um, yeah, so he goes back, confronts the demon... Uh, basically, yeah, I was doing bad stuff, and then I kind of lost control, is what happened. <sighs> Demons. <laughs> um, you know, I, I haven't seen a whole lot of Supernatural and, you know, other shows with demons, but you kind of get a bad rap, you know, in American media, at least. I don't know about other countries, but yeah, <laughs> you're not the best, and... I don't know what to say after that, because you might get mad, so I'm gonna not. Um, anyway, you know, Ash and crew join forces, come together to try and figure out how to, you know, lock the demons back in the box, so to speak. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> um, you know, on their journey they come across another more powerful demon, who's like, yeah, no. <laughs> See, me... And the original demon, Ruby, final spoil that element too. Um, yeah, Ruby and I had a deal back in the day. And well, she kind of broke the deal. So I'm taking over everything. And if I get the chance, I'm going to rip Ruby's head off. <laughs> Is basically the gist, I would say. So, you know, it's up to Ash, Ruby, uh, and the crew to save the day. Uh, they do, you know, fight. Uh, they fi <laughs> they do get to a nice conclusion, and I'm not gonna spoil all of the events, but basically the way season two ends is um, Ash is celebrated as a hero in Elk Grove, because, you know, he helped save the world and all that good stuff. Um, unfortunately, there are seeds, obviously, for season three, three because season three is happening. So, yeah. <laughs> um, overall, I really enjoyed, you know, I've enjoyed the series so far. It's only two seasons, but it's still pretty cool. It's still pretty good. You know, I love Ash. I love the character. It's probably a bad thing to say this, but I feel like he's kind of relatable in that reluctant hero idea. You know, you have to be the hero. You have to save the day. It's like, can I not? <laughs> Uh, cause it, it can be a chore having to be, you know, the good, the good guy and do all the right things and stuff. At least in my experience. And I would say so from Ash's experience. And what I like about season two really is that going back to Elk Grove and, you know, talking about the history, you know, is interesting. It builds the world a bit more. Uh, because one of the, you know, one of the big things is... At the end of Evil Dead 2, he gets sucked into the portal, he goes back to medieval times, and then he comes back. <clears throat> but this is, you know, 20, 30 years down the line. What happened between, I returned from evil medieval times, and, you know, now. <laughs> um, at the end of Army of Darkness, they have a nice little story, but it doesn't seem like that was the case. Again, I don't want to spoil it because it's really cool and it's awesome world building, I feel. But, yeah, it's it's got some heavy stuff. Um, like, one of the major players is actually Ash's dad. <laughs> and, you know, obviously there are some similarities between between the characters, go figure. And, yeah, it's, it's just cool seeing, like, Ash home, Ash dealing with his past. And... You know, trying to prove to these people, supernatural stuff exists, and it's real, and it's coming for you, and we have to stand together and do something, otherwise, 
we're all doomed. <clears throat> you know, I don't want to go into it too much, but it's it's a cool little story arc, I feel. Um, and, you know, he does have some good character growth. Like, one of his... <laughs> you know, um, he has to make some real sacrifices for his friends. And he shows himself to be quite clever, I feel. Like, honestly, I was kind of tricked. And... I think it's episode 7 or 8, I forget exact, what exact, which episode it is, but they do, that whole episode is just cool and interesting, just what they put Ash through. Again, I don't want to spoil it, but, you know, it makes the audience question, you know, reality, really. Like, did things happen, did things not, you know, is Ash crazy? And I think that's very cool. Um, so, overall, I would recommend Ash vs. Evil Dead. You know, if you're a fan of the Evil Dead series, if you've seen Ash vs. Or if you've seen Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 1, or you're into some gory, messy, bloody humor. You know, because you're a bit dark. And honestly, I think we all are at this point. <laughs> Um, and, of course, if you're, you know, mature. And luckily for you, if you don't have Stars, because it's on Stars exclusively, you can find at least the first two seasons on DVD. You know, check online or go to DVD place. I don't know. But I think I'm good with that. So on that note, guys, I will... I'm sorry, you guys... One sec, I thought I... No, damn it. Crap. God. Why? <laughs> so, um, thing happened. Apparently a portal opened up and my car got stuck through it. <sighs> so I'm gonna go take care of that. <laughs> but first I need to properly equip myself. I don't have a whole lot of experience with you know interdimensional portals but I think I know where this one's going. <sighs> so, if you will excuse me, everyone. As always, have fun, stay safe, keep hydrated, and remember, every character has a story to tell. And <laughs> my story is I have to get my car back, because cars are expensive. And, well, you try explaining to the insurance guy, yeah, a uh, random wormhole opened up and it took my car and... <laughs> Can I get something for that? Yeah. I don't think it's going to work very well. Especially since I just bought this car a few months ago. So... Yay! <laughs> Crap! Where is it? Ah, fourth edition. Yeah, this will do it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Shotgun. We have a Sherry. Shotgun. Hold on, baby. Daddy's coming. 